Wake up, you have to see what Mid Journey just released. I think this is their most powerful feature ever. Look at these. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then, dude, look at these. Number one up here, that is so gorgeous. I mean, there are plenty more. Oof. I like those. Those two. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'll take a side of those. And you want to see how I made these? By using this right here. Style 2MCO FLD Q9R6J. What is that? Let me explain. Yesterday, Mid Journey released version 1 of their style tuner. It lets you create your own Mid Journey style. That is just mind blowing. You thought there were already a lot of possibilities? Now, oh, I just get goosebumps thinking about it. Now there's a lot more possibilities. <laughs> Even though they call it a style, it is a bit more than that. It's really about controlling the personality of the model. Now, how do you use it? Well, let's go through a live example. We'll make a new style together. You're going to type in the Mid Journey prompt box, slash, tune. Simple as that. But now it's going to ask you for a prompt. And what type of prompt should you put here? Well, maybe I don't completely understand the best practices yet, but I would wager to keep it on the simple side of things. The more complicated of a prompt you write here, the less the style is going to make sense over a broad category of subjects, I think. And you've seen the word style use, so I think you should try and keep your mindset in that area. What style of image do you want? And for our test, I think I'm gonna go something like vintage, retro, futuristic, Polaroid. I kind of wonder what it'll come up with. You're gonna hit enter, and then this is going to pop up. This menu will be the most important. 32 style directions, that's actually quite a bit. Although you can get 64 and 128 as well. From what I've tried so far, 16 is more than enough, so let's just start with that. And then you can choose to either tune the default mode or style raw. The key difference there is that style raw will take your prompts more literally than the default mode. I'm not sure if that's what you'll always want to go with, so for now let's just try default. And then up here it's going to tell you your cost. This whole thing is going to cost 0.15 fast hours of your GPU credits. So when we hit submit, it's going to ask us to confirm. We'll say yes. And now what it's actually doing is creating 32 jobs for those 16 directions. It's not actually creating 32 pictures that we'll get to save, but it is creating 32 pictures that we'll get to choose from. And that's why it's so much cheaper than creating 32 pictures on their own. And it says it will take about two minutes for it to get ready. Now is a good time to point out one of the best features, creating these style tests costs GPU minutes. But once it's created, choosing a style and sharing it is completely free. I mean, you don't have to run this test over and over again. You can now view, share, and generate styles here. It's going to give you a link, and boom, here we are. Mid Journey Style Tuner Version 1. This page was created for the following prompt, Vintage Retro Futuristic Polaroid. And there are two ways to complete this little test. It's not really a test, it's more of a quiz. First, you can compare two styles at a time, basically choosing between one or the other or neither of them if you don't like that particular selection. And when you compare them this way, you get a full grid to better understand the selection you're making. Here are the directions. Each row will show you two visual directions to go in. Pick images you strongly like and skip all other rows. You do not need to make a selection every time. And this is basically what you need to understand. You're going to see these two pictures, right? If you typed in the prompt, vintage retro futuristic Polaroid, which look would you rather have show up? I'll admit that both pictures here are pretty similar, so this might be a bit of a tough choice, but I'll go with the left side here. I'll go with number one. But then take a look at the second pair. If you typed in that prompt, which of these styles would you rather see come through in the generation? I think maybe the obvious choice would be over here on the right, but the beautiful and crazy thing about this whole process is that you can choose this watercolor look over here on the left. That's pretty insane, right? And I don't want to overwhelm you, but you could choose the right and get a style, and then you could choose the left and get a different style code. And maybe you could help me with my goal to reach 30,000 subscribers. Don't forget to like the video as well if you really want to help support the channel. It would mean a lot. So we're going to choose this one over here on the right. And then do you want these slick product photos to influence your pictures? Or do you want these crazy colorful but 
faded images over here to be more of what you're getting. And keep in mind, if you don't want either of these, you could leave it unchecked in the middle. That's pretty important. And another little tip for you is that when you get an option like this that has a lot of color, you have to understand that that will influence your style a lot. Like, a lot, probably. Here's a good example of choosing neither of them. I really don't want my images to look like this, and I wouldn't want my images to look like this either. So we're just going to leave it blank. We'll leave this one blank as well. And you see down here at the bottom, it's 4 out of 16. That means there are 16 different rows to choose from, and I've only selected 4 different directions so far. I believe the recommendation is to choose anywhere between 5 and 10. You definitely don't want less than that, or you'll be really specific, and you definitely don't want more than that, as in all of the directions, because then it will be pretty hard to determine exactly where you're going. So the middle ground is what we're looking for. I'm not going to choose between these. Uh, I'll choose these over. Oof. I'm not going to choose between these either, but I don't mind the right side here. I'll pick these because I like that faded look. I do like the retro futurism going on here. Love this look here. I'm not going to choose those. We're at 7 of 16. Um, I don't mind these. I think these are pretty cool. Oof, I actually like these a lot up here. That's a tough pick. But again, you don't have to just choose one or the other. Look down here. We've chosen 8 out of 16, but it updates the style code on the fly. So right now, that code is for the choices we made. But watch what happens when I change one of my picks. Let's say here in number 13, I go with the left side. It changes the style code on the fly. That's crazy. So you can mix and match, and I'll be posting this exact quiz in the description of this video. So you can go in and try and find a style on your own. And please, share it with me when you do. I like this look as well. So at the end, 9 out of 16 questions were answered. You can click down here at the bottom to copy this whole style prompt. We're going to take that back into Discord, and now we're going to have some fun. We're going to imagine, and if you know me by now, I'm going to stick with Batman. Now here's the thing. When you paste the style prompt, it's going to paste the code but it's also going to paste the prompt you tune. Vintage Retro Futuristic Polaroid. Do you want to leave that in your prompt? Right now, I'm going to tell you yes, you probably should. However, you don't have to, and that will result in different looking images. We're going to try both. I'm going to quickly add no camera so that no cameras actually show up in the image. We're going to hit enter, and here we go. But now I'm also going to prompt just for Batman and that style code and you'll see the difference. And here's the first generation. Is that what you expected based on my choices? I mean, one, yes, the faded colors. That is basically the look I had selected for. Batman didn't quite show up. Meanwhile, if you excluded the style of the prompt, being the Polaroid, this is what you get. Now, oh, I just got more goosebumps. These are gorgeous. I love number one and number three. That is amazing. And that whole look comes from this style code right here. Granted, the style code's not very sexy looking, just some gibberish numbers and letters, but that basically unlocks a consistent style. If you find a style code you like that generates pictures you're interested in, you can do that forever now without needing to explain your style, without needing to put that look into words. And how powerful is that? Like, just mind-blowing. These codes are shareable. Again, I'll leave mine in the description below. Please share yours with me if you come up with anything cool. And you should know, style codes can be blended together. You can add more than one to a prompt. What? Like, the possibilities are just so... Hey, I'm overwhelmed. You're probably going to be overwhelmed. So let's try and tackle this together. There's your first impressions of how to navigate through this style tuning. Please share some cool styles with me. You can find my tuners in the description below. I'll be working on a deep dive about this feature with some more tips and tricks. So if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.